Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am actually in Chamonix. Um, I'm not gonna vlog the whole week, but I thought I'd take you up the vertical kilometer with me. I'm already out of breath, literally just walking to it. Um, and it is quite literally a kilometer of incline. So we're going up there. You're up there, Vicky. So what do you want to do? Oh, Directly under the ski lift. Um, I've done it quite a few times. They have a race which seems wild because right at the top it is very sketchy um, and I'm terrified of heights so that'll be fun and I've got very tired legs after yesterday's hike which is very nice but yeah sun's out it's supposed to rain hopefully it holds off but I'm looking forward to it how are you feeling? Uh, feeling prepped I like going uphill so should be fun we are a mile up and we've still got probably the same amount, if not more, to go. <laughs> um, obviously, this is hike a hike. There's been zero running whatsoever. Um, it's just like relentless hairpins, and then you get to the top where it's a bit more sketchy, and there's like wires to. It's a bit more like scrambly rock climbing. Um, I'm sure avid climbers would disagree, but for me, it's very scary. <laughs> And my legs are very tired from yesterday. <laughs> Ooh, first wire section. Is it like not the kind of area where you should be holding two I video recording hold two devices? Actually, that in the room is supposed to come up, it's supposed to come that side. Oh, uh, yeah. Go back. What? Go back. Go yeah, back. you are, this cable here. This is real sketchy around this corner, yeah. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I've already done it. <sighs> Do I look real athletic? They just pop over. We did it. Ready? Yeah. We stopped for some peanut M&Ms at the top. Now we're running back down and thankfully the sun has come back out. So that's good. Do you enjoy your first VK? Uh -huh. Did you enjoy your first VK? Yeah, great fun. Very lovely afternoon hike and not as long as yesterday because I think we we're out for like four and a half hours yesterday. So this should be like probably two and a half. Oh, ow. Um, we're just running down quite a treacherous dirt track, I would say. Not very nice and I've got the worst itch ever. Good morning from Chamonix. Today we are hiking slash running up to Lac Blanc. Um, 
which I'm very excited about because this is a very gorgeous hike. Um, with a big lake at the top of the mountain where we'll stop and have lunch and then run down. Um, so I thought I'd bring you with me. Yeah, did you? Got fresh legs now, haven't we? Mm. We're about a mile in. We've just come over those ladders. That is the drop. How are you feeling? We are probably about 25 minutes from La Blanc. We've actually got a nice runnable section now, um, which is good. And a lot of going uphill. Did I already say I didn't feel very well yesterday? Oh, um, we went to, we actually drove to Lake Annecy yesterday and had a day on the lake, um, which is very nice and actually a bit of a recovery day. Um, not being on the legs, but then by the evening I felt so ill. <laughs> Just got me falling on camera. I felt so ill and we, I actually went to bed quite early and woke up um, feeling a little bit not completely myself. Um, so this has probably been harder than it might have been, but I uh, kind of do feel pretty much normal now, which is good. Oh uh, yeah, true. Look at this. That was the mini lake just before it. A full summit, I would say. And we're just going up to that hut. Just up there. I say just up there, it's actually a lot further than it looks. Where Lap Blanc is. And hopefully we're going to stay and have a Coca-Cola and a coffee or whatever and chill before we run back across the valley and into Chamonix and a swim in the lake apparently you say it. <laughs> right bit of snow We made it. Made it to the <laughs> Black Blank Cafe, and you can tell it's two Londoners who just assumed that there would be Apple Pay. Sadly, there was not. So the pie that I've been dreaming about the last hour and a half hike, sadly, at nine euro when we actually only had ten euro in cash on us, or should I say Rory did? Yeah, thankfully me, I had cash. Um, we got a coke and a coffee, which came to what nine euro? <coughs> yeah. Nine euro, so we couldn't have. Now I've got the one euro to go to the toilet. Yeah. You've got one. Does it cost? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> I need the new one. Oh, we'll flip the coin. Is it? Are you serious? Yeah. Surely not. It did. It said it on the way up. I oh said one God. euro, thank you for your understanding. What the in hell? five languages. All right, so I'm holding it for the next few hours. Um, so yeah, you might win if we So we had a coffee, and um, I'm, thankfully I did pack one of the fake Aldi marshmallow squares bars, but I was very generous and half over Rory, so. It's just selfless. I know. So yeah, but we've got a very nice view. Anything else to add? Just mentally preparing for the swim. <laughs> I'm always convinced he's going in. We've only so far seen one other person go in and he brought towels. So. Well, 
I'm not really. Commitment. Get your kit off. Woo. He's staying true to his word, people. Meanwhile, I've put my long suit on because I'm freezing. Oh, it's not warm. Not warm? Huh? It's not warm, is it not? No. Surprising that. the trail just running the last little bit into the town centre now after a very good day in the mountains planned literally to vlog one um one hike and here we are on number three today we are doing la junction which says it's four hours fifty so the aim is what four hours four hours we've got cash today they're not loads <laughs> um we're gonna set off this was recommended by well Hannah and then on Google as well so hopefully it's a nice one neither of us have done it I'll take you with us 1500 meters straight up Ooh. straight down and it's our last day so making the most of it but we will get to see some glaciers what was that we'll get to see some glaciers great ones of dirt just covered up <laughs> <laughs> we've hit the hour mark and we've just hit the first viewpoint and that is the glacier in the distance Sweaty, sweaty. So the road is right down there, and we're not even halfway through. But we have got a hut. But we've got a hut up there to aim for. But that's not the end. No, no. we're like a third of the way. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Did you charge your watch? Yeah. Literally in a glacier. Are we in a glacier? Yeah. We're next class. You happy about the stuff? Yeah. Long over to you. Shame it wasn't at the top, eh? Yeah, no cafe at the top. Found one probably about an hour and a half from the bottom. An hour from the bottom a ham sandwich which I'm very happy about. Okay guys I've just edited that vlog and that is where it ended that's where I stopped filming. Um, I went into that holiday with no intention of vlogging because it really was just like an actual holiday um, and then I couldn't help myself but on my GoPro get some bits but obviously I didn't follow through but I thought it was a shame not to put it out um and so i thought i'd just jump on and like recap some of the hikes that hike slash runs that we did um and 
yeah, I would really, really, really recommend going to Chamonix in summer if you never have. It was so much fun. So day one, which I didn't film, we did Chamonix, hiked up to Refuge de Plan de Aguil. So it's um, like basically up to where you get to the um, the ski lift to the Agua de Midi. Hiked up to there. And then we stopped and had lunch at that refuge. The refuges are amazing for food. Um, and then went to Refuge de Montenvers, which is where the glacier is, and then ran back down into Chamonix. Um, all of these routes are on my Strava. I can link my Strava in my description, but it's Emily Young. Um, we then, like, the next day did, like, a morning swim at the, um, the sports centre, which is incredible, and then we did the vertical kilometre, which is obviously in this vlog. Um, you just go up and then basically run back down around a longer route in Chamonix, but it's all signposted. Then we had a day trip to Annecy, we had a car so we could drive there, would really recommend if you do have a car, um, it's so beautiful and like an hour and a 15 minutes from Chamonix um, and it's just a really nice recovery day. Um, then we did Lac Blanc which was incredible, um, not really much more to say about that apart from don't forget actual cash, you cannot pay on Apple Pay. Uh, and then the last day was La Junction, which is literally just up and down. And there is two cafes on the way up, but nothing at the top because it's a glacier. Um, so remember a lot of food or stop at the um, cafes on the way up. Um, but yeah, we stayed in the center of Chamonix. It was perfect. It was literally just like a week of eating, drinking, hiking, running, we had a night out. Um, it was just like, it honestly was one of my favorite holidays. Like I love Chamonix, I've been quite a few times and Rory's been before cause he hiked Mont Blanc, which now I really want to, I say hiked, he climbed Mont Blanc, which now I really want to do. Um, but we'd never been together and we'd been saying for the last few years, like, oh, when COVID's over and we can do trips, like we need to do a Chamonix trip. And then since you've been allowed to travel again we've just had so many people's weddings to go to so we've not really just done like a dedicated holiday that hasn't been for somebody else's birthday or somebody else's wedding or whatever and this was that and my parents actually came along as well and brought the dog which was super nice um i'm back in london now obviously and yeah i was just editing this and then realized like okay that is the most raw disjointed vlog i think i've ever put out but the views and everything and like yeah if I couldn't encourage anyone else to go to Chamonix it's worth putting out because it's just the best place on earth and I really wish I was going out for UTMB because a lot of my friends are in a couple of weeks time but sadly I'm out of annual leave now um but yeah it was fab um any questions on Chamonix let me know I'm sorry it was a really random disjointed one but I hope you enjoyed it anyway and I will see you on the next video. And also, if you're interested in the kit that I was wearing, like I did daily kit um, and outfit details on my TikTok, which is Emily, my handle is Emily's Journal 50. So please go follow me on that. Um, and I will see you on the next video.